go. Okay, so uh, first off, we're gonna do Greeks, and then we can switch as we go along. Um, so for Greeks, majority of the time, EK, do you think you need to do anything but a second town center build? Like, is there? Is there I mean, any a couple patches ago, we used to do the you know barracks start first, but since the new updates and changes, I haven't tried doing barracks first, but I've not been as effective as it used to be. So I've just been doing TC starts like yeah. 90% of the time. Apart from Oasis, Oasis is the only map I go racks first still. And that's a really good point, right? The Your build order does depend heavily on the map that you're, you're on, right? You can be yeah. even more greedy past getting your second town center in certain maps, and you should be going right into uh, different sorts of builds and in, in other maps. But uh, for, for now, what we're going to show is just a basic build order for Greeks, going second TC, and maybe some early aggression with Calf, I'm assuming, is what you typically would want to do. Now Depends on the sieve. But I mean, majority of the time, yeah, Cavalry series, and you can just once you get, I think it's eight. Is it eight series? I think you can one shot villagers or six. I can't remember if oh, uh, I think it's when six. it's loom, when it's loom, it changes to eight or nine. But yeah, so having that many series and reading that is a good amount because you can just right click on villagers individually, and it will just be one shot. So my typical distribution here of villagers is uh, three on the opening hunt if you can find it early. Right. If you yep. can't find the hunt super early, I'll throw my villagers onto the berries, at least until I find them. Um, and then I'll put my fourth... I'll put the first villager that comes out to build this storehouse on the wood. And I'll put uh, the fourth villager onto the food. And then uh, I, uh, I'll put the other two or three villagers as they come out onto wood as they... That's exact same as me, but I go hunt and go straight away after I build the first storehouse. That's the only difference I have. So you you don't build the storehouse super quickly? You? No, I, I do. I build it super quickly, but as soon as it's built, I'll go, um, queue up hunting dogs. Oh, interesting. Really after. Okay, okay. I do that for most of my games. Okay, so what I do is uh, once I have three guys on... Um, three guys on wood, I'll make yep. my first storehouse on stone and again the reason this uh, i do this is like the storehouse isn't going to be built yet uh, but my villager coming out here um, i don't want them to be gathering the stone until the storehouse is ready right so uh, i think this is a really good distribution where you have four guys on on a hunt uh, four guys on on wood and then you get up to that four or five villager uh on stone before you age up is that you what you know do what you well? what you've just done here i used to do that but okay. i tended to realize um if i have three in wood then get my next one to build the storehouse of stone i normally struggle with wood by slightly slightly more than I, okay. um, I would normally so what i've been doing recently i don't know if it's the most effective way but it's just me personally is i go four so the four food how you generally do it and then go straight on four wood and then the next one to build the stone storehouse and four then, straight oh, on wood. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then four on stone. And then as you start aging up, yeah, which I'm um, doing right I'll now. move. I'll move one food villager to stone and one food villager to the closest wood. So yeah. Okay. That's what and I'm now, do. I have an extra villager here. Do you think I shouldn't have gotten that extra villager? Um, I think I have now oh, five guys I, on. Yeah, I always age up with twelve villagers. So I'll have four on each before I, as I age up. Got it. Got it. So I, I did it with one extra villager. Um, is that you know you do it with thirteen? Uh, sometimes, sometimes. It, I I don't think it matters any particular way. Um, one thing before we all pause right here. So right now I have like almost three hundred uh, stone. What you can do as well is like hover over the stone mine uh, to make sure that you don't um, overgather. So as soon as you as soon as you see that you've overgathered, you can like tell your guys to go back and what you should be thinking right now is just as you age up uh, and have nearly enough resources is like where should I put my second TC right like you have a, a little bit of a couple seconds to think about that stuff and so um, you might want to put it up here on this safe gold mine or this gold mine that you want to secure with your TC um, 
you might want to put it on your uh, wood line if you want to be very, very safe and you're afraid your opponent's going to push you. Um, where else could you put it, EK? Uh, generally, I would put it in that gold at the top because you got the hunting and the, or you got the, the dares next to it as well, so that's pretty good. And wait, generally, if the enemy is going second TC as well, it's okay to put more aggressive TC just because they won't be able to, you know, aggress it and yep. kind of attack it. So. Having that, it also increases your map pressure a little bit because you're pushing out and you generally gain a bit more map control because of the TC vision, vision and generally having that and building there is always a bit more of a threat. So I would definitely put it up at the top of the gold mine. Yeah, agreed. Agreed, agreed. Okay, so these guys are now done. We're going to move them quickly just in time for the, uh, the second age to be completed. You want to make sure that there's a space between your gold mine and your TC. And don't yep. forget to make villagers. Um, and here, I would instantly queue up, yeah, Hansel. Yeah. Instantly queue up Hansel. One thing I've also been doing is instantly queuing up the other... Um, gold, the, oh, gold Rush as well? Oh, the, oh like as yeah. many as many of the, the ones that I'll be using soon, um, I, I do that as well. Uh, See, I don't instantly queue up Pickaxe because I'd rather get a production facility out soon enough such as you know mm. stables and maybe start aggressing on like their their enemy hunt just putting a bit of pressure on okay okay let's Even let's do that then. let's do that then. because there's 100 wood i think for the pickaxe upgrade so i'd rather get first production facility out and then maybe uh get the the gold rush or pickaxe sorry upgrade after once more people are on gold it's a really, really good point gold yet. that's a really really good point um okay so now we have our guys on gold that's fine we're gonna send so the rest of them to go get more uh, food um, and then this TC I'll put towards wood now um, one yeah, thing that I've been you're gonna need more on food uh, oh, those, sure. the guys that normally finish the fit TC I put all of them on food after so these guys wouldn't be in gold they'll be on yeah like the hunt there and let's get our otherwise you want me to have double build production and your series as well because obviously series are quite expensive for food and then you've already got eight on wood so I'll start getting the first TC, the village is there on gold now. Just These so guys on gold as well? Ah, These okay. guys on gold and then those guys were on food and then... Mm, okay, okay, okay. So, so just to recap then. The guys who built the town center, um, I'm putting them onto the uh, more food resource of some sort. Uh -huh. And then... Yeah. Um, you're saying take these guys off of the wood and put them onto the gold. No, 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 no. So keep them on the wood, but the new vills that are coming out from this uh, division yes. of TC, put them on gold. Okay, got it. From either one of the TCs, right? You put them on, on gold. Yeah, I mean, you got gold mine in either one, so it doesn't matter. But yeah. It's yeah. yep, actually yep, yep. one of the TCs. And then so what I, what I do as well to make sure that I'm managing my um, economy well is like um, just... Like, let's say there's now five, six, seven guys here on this gold. Um, I'll start to peel off villagers from the resource that has uh, a lot of villagers uh, and put them onto other resources I need rather than directing the town center's villager production to a different place, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that's a good point. I do that all the time because, if, honestly, you can never really get a perfect amount of village distribution in what you want to do because you're going to always have maybe an extra resource or something by accident um so yeah distributing them to different uh, resources is very effective. i'll normally go barrack second oh, barrack because second. once yeah one stables is enough for, for um i guess points of production for stables or camps yeah good point good point uh so then let's uh let's get up this is should be in archer range one 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 for the greeks yeah uh, and then we probably need some houses soon and I'll probably get a bit more food, probably around 11 or 12, just because series and spearmint are both food, and you're going to get double wheel production, so it's going to be key. Ah. Alright, sounds good. So the this town center is on this gold, this is still here. Let's, let's direct uh, this town center onto some food. And we'll have two guys making houses, which should be good enough. Uh, do you usually get conditioning right away or no? Um, 
It depends if I feel like I'm gonna need more spearmen. If I'm versus a sieve that's gonna go high cap, then I'll go conditioning. If I'm don't think I'm gonna need as many spearmen, I won't. Mm. Okay. So it just depends on the matchup. Mm -hmm. We'll go uh, trip two stables for now. And the key key thing as part of your um, one one thing to remember, right? Like when. I'm sure you do this all the time, but uh, be comfortable with your hotkeys, right? So you don't forget. Yeah. Uh, as I'm cycling through, like, what my one is barracks, my two is archer range, and my three is stables. But, like, all three of them you can quickly go through and make sure that you have units being produced at all times. Uh, and then same thing with my town centers. I have my town centers binded to a single hotkey so that you only press one button and, and all of your villagers can be made at one time. Um, so just another thing to... Yeah, yeah. Also, I probably wouldn't go double stables, I normally go double archery range. Mm, uh, yeah. Generally, in most matchups. And then I'll probably start getting maybe one on two in stone now, just thinking about armory upgrades. Uh, and getting the, the armory yep, and... out. Around the eight minute mark is where I normally get my first armory. So maybe one or two in stone, just so you can get uh, start getting enough. Yeah, and when, when we say one or two on stone, right? Like, um, yeah, like three is probably enough for armories. By the time you get it up, you have enough for the first and two. Probably have a bit more wood uh, by now as well because we're gonna start that double archery production. Yep, and we gotta refresh the uh, yeah storehouses. Gotta refresh the storehouses. See how you got you got your army here. I would be like raiding with the series now as well as I do this, sure, just so sure. get some more information. And if they are gathering up far out, you can you know punish them for that. Right now, what I'm what I'm lacking the most is those houses. So it's that constant mm -hmm. that constant production of houses that uh, you need to make sure you keep up with. Because when you don't, like I'm doing right now. And you are skipping out on villagers. When you're skipping out on villagers, make sure to get the rest of the upgrades you have here. You've got quite a few, quite a lot of food right now, so I'll probably maybe move a couple to, to wood, two or three. Yep. Because you're going to need a lot more of that. So now that we have a lot of food, I'll... I, I, ideally, you want to start getting your army upgrades now. Um, so you kind of want to save up for that first pierce damage. Well, Greek shields want to get pierce damage first because Ceres and Norman both use it. So it's just the best one for them. Yeah, yeah. Pierce is, pierce is definitely the best one. Definitely need a bit more guys on board. So I'll, I'll take some of these guys off of the gold, which we have a lot of, and I'll, uh, I'll move them back to the wood. Okay. Armor upgrades, check. And you, when you have the armory, you want to make sure you kind of have constant production of the armory upgrades. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get to, I don't know, 11 minutes or so, you are, you're max stage 2. That's ideally what you want. And I normally get two armories, and uh, so there's one producing from each one. Because I think having one and then just producing one at a time won't be The alternative enough. is getting Oh, uh, unless, yeah, unless you get an academy and get, I forgot the upgrade it's called, but the research time one. Yeah. <laughs> And if, if they are like have heavy, I'll probably go spare my champ as well. Like if I'm versing the or maybe mm. yep. uh, raiders or something, I'll definitely go spare my champ quite early on. Just because you can just pick off quite a few units if they do try raid with that more snare resistance. Oh, sorry, snare damage. Okay, so now we're just about to. I should have gotten chisel a while back. Um, oh yeah, that should have been. So I'll be getting my. Yeah, you got your second one. Great, that's good. 
Yep. Got enough second, uh, enough stone for 30 easy, that's always good as well to have. Yeah, we just need... Oh, some of these guys are... Uh... There we go. Just enough time to get to the third age. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. And, and so, think about it, your army is quite food heavy as well. Oh, it's quite, I mean, very heavy. So if they do have, you know, Bowman and stuff, that would be a very strong army to, to go up against. Yeah, then at but this then point, you, you, that, you like split your units, right? You split, yeah, yeah. You try to get a flank. I always maybe try to keep some series at the front just to um, tank as well. And then have a couple series for the flank. Just yeah. have both, couple on both sides. So what I do is um, I'll split my army between uh, like a f my two hockeys, and we will have like one that does good damage. And you're like, it's it's a big enough army where you have to be afraid of it, and your opponent has to be afraid of it. And then you have another army that can actually do a ton of damage as well. Um, but as long as you never engage with this main army, you should be fine. Um, but losing that fight. At this point, right, our economy is great, but you can't, we can't afford to lose a fight, right? So um, the mid-game is all about getting information and doing damage to your opponent without actually costing you too, too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, my and God, I'll one probably... second too late. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say, I swear with the... I, I thought with... Um, <laughs> I thought with, with philosophy it would have been fine, but damn it. Um, so we weren't we weren't trying to go for that. It was more of an educational purpose. Yeah, right? ex exactly, exactly. But ideally, yeah, you want to be. I, I guess the best case scenario is having all H two upgrades done before you start and, like and going attacking. to H three. Yeah. So as you go to H three, you, all your H two um, army upgrades will be done, um, which is then you'll be at a strong point to fight as well. Yeah, that's as long as you, you micro the fight somewhat well. That was very clean, very, very clean. Um, okay, we for with with that, let's uh, let's switch the screens. Yeah. Um, return to the Quest City. So, if anybody 